Have you ever found yourself trying to import file structures and folders into DaVinci Resolve, but you run into an issue like this? We, just gotta go hard. Uh. we grab our folder, we drop it into our media pool, and our beautiful file structure is completely gone, and we're left with all of our clips sitting there completely unorganized and missing that sweet, sweet layout that we spend so much time organizing and curating. Well, Turns out there's actually a super, super easy way to get around this. And when you actually learn it, it makes a lot of sense why it works like this. In DaVinci Resolve, when we want to make a folder, it's referred to as a bin. And what we normally do is right click over here and click new bin. That'll allow us to type whatever we want. And inside of that, we can have our own file structure built out. Now, rather than going through and building these custom for every single folder that you want to drop in, it's very simple to think about the media pool referring to clips inside folders. The bins section over here refers to our file and folder structure. So all we actually have to do to copy those over is go back to Finder, grab our files and drag them instead of into our media pool directly into our bins section. To be fair, I probably actually picked the wrong files to do this example with because I think there is around 1.5 to 2 terabytes of footage there uh, and I'm pulling this directly from a NAS. So give it a little bit of a second here while it does load things up for us. And just like that, we now have our entire file structure maintained inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, I'm just gonna go through real quick and remove these original clips. That way it's all nice and clean again and we can see that all of our file structures have carried over from our initial import. Again, the display over on this side so we can jump through, we can see everything that's going on and we keep that nice, beautiful organization. So if you found this useful, please do feel free to share it to anyone else you know who edits in DaVinci Resolve and might have been having this issue because I know I was for a very long time until one day it kind of clicked and I figured it out, messed around a little bit, got it right. And honestly, the amount of time that it saves being able to do this rather than having to go in, restructure files on every single project. I know it might be minor. I know this might be something that everyone already does and already knows but in case you didn't this is how you do it and hope you enjoyed feel free to let us know as well if there's anything else you've been struggling in davinci resolve that you'd like us to cover and if you've ever wondered how you can stop a song at any point in time smoothly or transition between multiple songs in an edit we're going to be doing a video on this shortly so check it out and it should be pinned up here when it's ready to go might be that side might be that side still getting used to this